Aloha and welcome. My name is Master Paul and I appreciate you joining me today for today's live stream in Facebook. Um, I was running around getting everything ready for today. Uh, I was actually just at the park and I was working with a client that had some activity happening in her world. I'm checking, make sure I'm live on Facebook, make sure you can hear me. So give me a moment, please. Okay. Still checking if I'm live, if you can hear me. Thank you for your patience. So uh, it hasn't shown up yet on Facebook, which is also probably why no one's come on live or joined live because it's still trying to grab at this point. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but um, I will refresh and we'll try again. We'll see what happens in a minute. trying to grab the feed now. Looks like we may have success. Okay, good. And I'm just making sure that you guys can hear me okay, and then I will continue. Okay, so it looks like I might have a, a pretty weak inter oh. internet connection where I'm at, but that's okay as long as you guys can see me. And I see now that a couple of people have joined. Welcome Kristen, welcome Tatiana. Thank you. So, aloha and welcome. Thank you for joining me today, Monday. I uh, had an excellent week last week. It was truly um, a lot of fun to be able to, to do a live stream um, and have connectivity to all you online, to see the questions come in and to be able to answer those questions or ask heaven or the world to answer those questions. It's truly been a great, great and beautiful opportunity to serve you all. Uh, welcome Cat Cat, thank you for joining. Welcome Vanessa, thank you for joining. <coughs> I am deeply honored to serve you all. So as we move forward today, uh, the subject will be on soulmates. So make sure you flash all your girlfriends, tell them that uh, uh, Master Paul will be doing soul readings for soulmates. And um, I will give a little explanation on soul readings for those that are newer to this. Uh, for those that will be watching this at a later time, they might not be familiar with it. Uh, this last week with doing some of the soul readings came across some excellent information that was really quite enlightening. Actually, uh, I remember doing a soul reading for the soul of gratitude and the wisdom that came through is truly remarkable. It's always wonderful to hear that information. But in the soul world, we have, um, we have many, many relationships is I guess the best way to put that. With my soulmate attraction system, the program I've developed, it was created over the last 30 years actually. I found my true love uh, going back about three and a half, four years ago. And I had to go through a tremendous amount of processes before I could find her. And a great deal of that process has to do with the teaching wisdom the doctor and master Shah had brought to, uh, to earth at this time. It, it's, it had its foundation, my particular blockages, and, and a, a good 50 to 70% of most people's blockages are related to, um, to our karmic relationship issues. Some of them, some of our blockages are related to our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, which do have a karmic root. Some of our blockages are related to what we have been taught by our peers. And these are some of the things I'm gonna be discussing today. So I thank you all for joining. First thing I wanna do is connect to all of heaven and ask them to join us so that when I speak, I'm speaking from the highest places to serve you. So I will place my hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, which is the left hand in front of the uh, heart center. Uh, there's actually a space between here, leave a little space, and the right hand pointed to our heaven. Dear our beloved divine, all layers of divine down source up to the original creator. Dear my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, 
Dear all my Sherpus, Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints to the soul of this temple, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow down to you. I thank you for your presence and your blessings here today in whatever way is most appropriate. I thank you for borrowing my mouth so that when I share any soul readings today that it assists these souls in receiving whatever value they are needing the most, offering the guidance that is most needed for them at this time, and borrow my mouth to ensure that uh, their soul journey is enhanced. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to start out by offering everybody a blessing that has joined us. Uh, this blessing will be for opening your heart. I have a calligraphy, uh, which I am going to grab in a minute. I'll actually have to unhook my microphone and come back uh, to grab it. It's a very special calligraphy that Master Shah uh, has made available to some of those who took advantage of it, and it's called Opening Your Heart and Soul, and I find it exceedingly powerful. So I will grab that and disconnect from the phone and be right back. I apologize about any noise this makes. Almost ready. So make your request to <coughs> heaven for anything related to the heart that you would like additional blessings for. This is what the calligraphy looks like. Master Shock Kai gonged it and blessed it to connect to the original calligraphy and is literally called Opening Your Heart and Soul. Uh, Dao Kai Fu Xin Ling Dao Dan. Dao Kai Fu Xin Ling Dao Dan. So truly a powerful, powerful calligraphy. You get a huge blessing to start off with, and we'll move forward from there. So make your request. And I will now trace for you. Dao Kai Fu Xin Liang Dao Dan Dao Kai Fu Xin Liao 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 Dai Fu Xin Liao Dao Dan Dao Kai Fu Xin Liao Dao Dan Dao Kai Fu Xin Liao Dao Dan How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the countless saints, animals, temples, souls, and treasures in this calligraphy for your service to all those that have joined us at this time. Welcome, Katie O'Shea. 
<coughs> I'll do a quick soul reading as to um, what we received in this three-minute blessing. Uh, I know it was a lot, but sometimes we, our mind says, well, it's only three or four minutes, how can it make a difference? Well, let's find out what difference it made. Also, I encourage all those on the line, if you have soulmate-related questions, relationship-related questions, questions of the heart, heart blockages, anything's related to love and the inability to maintain love in a relationship, <coughs> uh, ask those questions. We'll see if we can do soul readings, okay? I will do a soul reading on the value of this service at this time. How? This is the soul of the calligraphy. Dao Kai Fu Xin Ling Dao Da. It is my greatest honor to be the portal by which heaven serves humanity. When Master Shah created me, he created me with countless saints, animals, temples, and treasures. These beings are so incredibly grateful to be activated it is their only opportunity to serve at this level. For when they do, they receive huge, huge blessings that has the propensity to increase their soul standing. Because of their excitement, their knowingness that this is a possibility for them, they bring with them cartloads of herbs, fragrances, fa cheese, healing instruments, and all forms of methodologies to bless those that have made requests. Those that come to watch this later have received the same blessings. There is no space or time in heaven. For those here today, they received further opening of their heart center to align to the ten das, to align to the highest source, to open their heart and soul to additional wisdom and teachings. They requested different things. But what is important to understand is those different things that are blockages in their life are there because they have not opened their heart and soul to Creator and Source in the way that it needs to be. That is why these actions were towards that end, so that the requests that were made could be addressed more easily. You are all manifestors. You are all creators in your own right. You think, therefore, you create. And your creations have been, in some cases, things that you do not wish to have in your life. It is the separation from source that causes those things that have come into your life. It is the separation from source by not having an open message center by negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that have kept you from getting what it is you think you want. One begets the other, so to speak. Spend your time and attention on the blessings that are made available through the one known as Master Shah. Receive those healings as much as possible as your heart and other aspects of your life remain open, that which you focus on, the creation as a result of it, will shift. The requests you make today can come to fruition as you maintain this application. I am honored to offer this wisdom and information. This is the soul 
of this calligraphy. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay, so hopefully that little reading touched a few of yours heart. If you have any comments on that, we'll take a, a uh, we'll read those a little bit later. Please share, as this is recorded and people get to watch it at a later time. And so it's always good to have that sharing. I see there's a few questions. And so let's go ahead and I'll back up a little, make sure I'm at the first question. Okay, Tatiana. <coughs> um, this is the second time that I have attracted significant other with a learning disability. Is there a reason for this? <laughs> That's a very good question. I don't know. <laughs> let's ask heaven. <laughs> they know everything. Okay. Uh, Tatiana, I want you to speak this other soul's name to heaven. Don't write it on this board. Um, and think of your relationship, and then I will ask. To the soul of Tatiana, Tatiana's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, to the soul of this significant other that Tatiana is thinking about, the soul of their relationship from this and all lifetimes, the soul of this question, why am I attracting others with learning disabilities? And what is the purpose of this? What is to be learned? What is the value and significance? The soul of the highest and best uh, way of expressing this answer to her, and any additional information regarding the soul of this relationship from this and all time. Could you please be present, offer uh, most relevant, important, and necessary guidance, wisdom, and insights for Tatiana to hear at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, I will chant for a moment, which helps me clear the channels, <coughs> and then I'll offer a flow. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, 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 there was three lifetimes in which you had substantial mental disabilities and others came to you. When those others came to you, they gave you unconditional love. They gave you unconditional light. They supported you in your learning processes. They supported you to open your heart. These kinds of disabilities often occur because of our karmic debts. But that is not always the reason why. Sometimes souls choose to have specific disabilities because they wish to give others the opportunity to serve. Sometimes those that serve wish to be the ones that have the disabilities so that they can balance and be open to receiving. Very often those in this realm have difficulty receiving love, difficulty receiving blessings from others. These souls are in the receiving position. They need that kind of love and support. You have high for this, but you question the value of it. For you, dear one, our recommendation is to place your focus on the other attributes that cause the original attraction. The learning deficits can be impacted by the blessings from the Master, by the uh, continued support. Those kinds of deficits are overcomable, so to speak, and the value in doing so creates both trust and open-heartedness in the other, because for them to allow someone to assist them, they have to be vulnerable. And it is that vulnerability that cannot be toyed with. So be very uh, kind and compassionate 
in this kind of a relationship. It is not to say that you are to remain in this kind of relationship, that is completely up to you, but if it nurtures you, if you feel uh, emboldened, uh, valuable, honored and appreciated, if the offering of this service is for the purpose of unconditionalness because of your love and you are not doing it to have your love fulfilled then it is of great value to both of you if you are doing it and there is uh, aspects of falseness and the inability to do it unconditionally then you should consider the reasons behind your choices as they are self-fulfilling they are about fulfilling your love by doing action for others to receive love this is a mistake that is commonly made in unhealthy relationships I hope this wisdom assists you this is one of the souls on your heavens team how 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 thank you thank you thank you okay so hopefully that uh, served you dear Tatiana um, Please respond with anything. Anybody that has their eye or feels or notices anything, please comment. And whatever you might notice when I'm doing readings uh, or blessings, there's a possibility I may do a blessing and a reading for one of those on the line today. We'll see what happens. Kristen. Uh, thank you, dearest Master Paul, for your love, service, and blessings. I will be grateful to receive a soul reading for my present relationship with E.G. and a soulmate reading if this present relationship isn't my soulmate. I will like so uh, to receive a reading on love myself and honoring myself. Okay, we can do that. To the soul of Kristen, to the soul of her current mate, E.G., the soul of the questions that she has asked regarding, is this my soulmate, etc. The soul of her question about aligning to her heart and soul, uh, and any love-based questions that might be inhibiting her from aligning to her heart and soul. Uh, love you, honor you, appreciate you all. Could you please be present to the soul of the highest and best uh, guidance, wisdom, and information that is most pertinent and appropriate for uh, Kristen to hear at this time. Could you please be present? Uh, we love you and we appreciate you all. Please offer the most relevant guidance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My dear Kristen, I am your soul. How I love these conversations with you. It is like a breath of fresh air for me, like I am dancing in the fields of flowers when I get to talk to you this way. You worry so much, my dear, about these kinds of things. Part of why you worry is because you distrust. You do not allow, truly, someone else's love to enter the way they are trying to offer it to you. I am sure you have heard these words. It is something that you must recognize as a blockage area. The inability to open to love by an individual is related to your karma with the divine. You have lifetimes in which you have created unpleasant karma with God. You have lost loved ones and you have spited the divine. You have closed your heart in those lifetimes. You have said unpleasant things to others that there could not possibly be a caring loving divine why else would you have lost your child why else would you have lost your husband to war etc etc and if it was not enough to hate the divine you shared these feelings with others of course you are not this soul today but that kind of response creates a separation between you and the beautiful love that your Creator is. Your Creator loves you unconditionally. You know that. He will give you unconditional forgiveness, but it is your lessons to be learned, my beloved daughter. 
it is of greatest importance that you recognize that this has shown up in your life so that you can transform it. It is of greatest importance for us, for me, as your soul, to receive this transformation. I can only do so much in the heavenly realms. We reincarnate into this life so that we can have these karmic implications brought up so that they can be transformed. This is my teaching to you. Continue to reaffirm that the divine has always, from the beginning of time, loved you with the greatest level of unconditionalness. Ask from the highest, deepest depths of your heart for forgiveness for all the times that you have harmed others' soul journey, others' connection with the divine because of your suffering, because of your inability to know that the karma of those lost loved ones was their karma. You did not have the wisdom at that time, therefore you spited our beloved Creator. I need this release. You need this release. Do this with the Da'ai calligraphy often. You will find that that will open your heart substantially more to the current relationship you are in. It has a great deal of potential still. And there is only one path. It is the path to the Divine's heart. Everything else that is not meant to be in your life will be released. I love you, my dear. I am here to carry you forth in every moment. This is your soul. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, such a beautiful, beautiful soul. This is a very sweet. She, she, she radiates flowers. She feels like flowers. She feels like the essence of flowers. A beautiful soul. Thank you for allowing me to, to speak her words. Okay. Katie O'Shea. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Katie. The thank you for the blessings. It was so beautiful. Welcome, Chai. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Vanessa. Dear Master Paul, I have wonderful loving relationships with D.H. I feel in my heart he is the love of my life. I feel this love too. But in all these years together, we did not want to have kids with me. Uh, just recently, he told me that he does not want to get married either. This has caused me a lot of pain, and I would be so grateful for a reading. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> to the soul of our beloved Vanessa, the soul of D.H., her current lover, boyfriend, significant other. I love you, Ani, you appreciate you. Could you please be present? To the soul of their relationship from this and all time, could you please be present? To the soul of these questions that she has asked about his commitment to her, to the relationship, and having children. Could you please be present? To the soul of the most relevant, highest, and best loving answer that can be offered, can you please be present? We ask, as appropriate, the Akashic Records be opened, and if needed, information be offered that is pertinent to this reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My dear Vanessa, this is your soul. I love you. I am so grateful that you have come to represent me on this plane. I am so grateful for your open heart as it has allowed me 
to open mind so much further. I am so grateful that you have aligned your heart and soul to the teachings of the one known as Master Shah. It has uplifted my soul journey remarkably. And for that, I bow down to you. With our beloved friend, his heart has difficulty opening. His love has difficulty being expressed. There are many reasons why. I am not here to tell you if he is the love of your life or not. That cannot and should not be expressed at this time. What I am here to tell you is that you can only control your soul and its journey, its love, and how it brings its love to any given relationship. There are many that invest their entire life in others. They lose themselves. They lose themselves in the form of giving everything they have in the hopes of receiving a fraction of what they give. And yet, most often it was not returned. Why is that? There is an imbalance in the way humanity loves each other. Love should be offered unconditionally and love should be received unconditionally. There should not be, I will give to you unconditionally so that I can have the love that I need. This imbalance has occurred because of, again, one's separation from Creator. It is a teaching that is falsely brought forth that you must do certain things, be a certain way, have this before you can have that. You must do certain things to receive God's love. You must be a certain way before you can receive God's love. You must have this and that and this and that before God will love you. This form of teaching permeates humanity in a variety of ways. And in this case, it has caused much of humanity and you to a certain degree to go out of your way to stretch yourself to give everything that you have so that you can have that security, that dream of a family, children, etc. It is not that any of these are not wanted, needed, balanced, desirable, and of course normal. We all want these things. But the imbalance occurs when we give more than we should to achieve those elusive things. When we do, others who are not in balance, who do not have the open heart that we hope or that we have, they do not know how to give the same way that we do. They do not know how to receive the love that we are giving. Therefore, their hearts remain closed. As their hearts remain closed, they are not open to furthering a relationship. This is a unfortunate aspect of many relationships in humanity. The one you love loves you, but the inability for this one to show it to you has created a barrier between you and the next place your relationship can go to. You must look into your heart and see if this is something that you wish to maintain. Of course, he will want to change. Of course, he will want to open his heart. But many of those, especially of the male race, do not know how to open their heart. He must be willing to do those things. He must be willing to receive the guidance, the blessings, those things necessary to open his heart. With that, deeper and healthier communication can occur. With that, the underlying reasons for his lack of love, lack of security, lack of stability in the relationship, lack of desire to move forward can be revealed. This is something that can be quite daunting and scary for many of the men that are out there. It simply depends upon their 
level of love if they are truly loving and wanting for the relationship to heal, to move to a new level, then this is what is required. I hope this information assists you and all those that watch this in the future. You are deeply loved, you are deeply blessed, and I am always serving your relationship with your loved one. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to your soul. <coughs> okay, so that um, was quite a profound reading. You're very blessed to have that reading. Hopefully it brings value to you. Please share. Thank you, Chai. So nice to see you too. Okay, makes sense, Tatiana responds. Okay, Dove. Do soulmates exist on the same timeline? Such as born to earth at the same time. Oh, that's a heavy question, Dove. <laughs> But I, I'm going to have fun with, with that, uh, that question because I'm curious on the answer myself. We'll find out what heaven says. <coughs> Dear the soul of Dove's question, do soulmates exist on the same timeline, such as born to earth at the same time? The soul of the most pertinent, relevant, and correct answer that can be offered at this time. For Dove, for all those that will be listening in the future. This is the soul of Aphrodite. I am the goddess of love. Soulmates are a much misunderstood commodity. What is a soulmate? A soulmate is a soul that when connected to you aligns your heart to their heart in such a way that both souls return to source. in the highest and best way possible. Your question, does soulmates exist in different layers, if you will? Do they come in at the same time? Throughout all of our lifetimes, we have hundreds, possibly thousands of relationships. Our child to mother relationship, the pure ones, our soul mate relationships. This is not known. This is not understood because those souls found the highest love and brought them much closer to the divine. In all of these relationships, our purpose is to serve each other all souls, to uplift the frequency of love of all souls to return to source. So when we come in, we carry with us our record of good and unpleasant services. And we make choices with other souls prior to entering this incarnation. We make agreements to uh, support each other in the returning of our hearts to the One Creator. There is several what you would call soulmates that are possible for us to align to. The variables are our purification and their purification. Our ability to navigate our karmic path to get to where we left off at. Their ability to navigate their path to get back to where they left off. Depending upon when we are truly ready, the one that is the closest proximity to our frequency comes. It is when 
we fail to clear the blockages that are created from lifetimes of misalignment teaching others wrong love harming others through love telling others we love them and then changing these reminders continue to bring up these blockages in our life the one before you our beloved Vanessa has a relationship where her spouse does not have as open a heart as she does is it possible our beloved one that you Vanessa have had an unopened heart to others in the past yes of course it is therefore do forgiveness around others loving you but you not having an open heart for them this is one example of how spiritual debt can impact finding our soulmate this teaching goes to the heart of this question souls and soulmates can come in many forms and they can enter at different times they can come to us at different times and when they do it does not always mean our relationship will be free of rocks as they say it is of greatest importance to when these souls come to be vigilant to not give too much just to receive to do forgiveness around every time they do something that we are not enjoying we must look at have I done this before I ask for forgiveness for having harmed any souls including this one for this action that I am on the receiving side of this dance is clearing future blockages between you and that soul it is a dance that must be learned and practiced it is a dance that can be accomplished in this lifetime you are blessed to have this information ha 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you Aphrodite such incredible information wow okay so hopefully that brought value to you uh, Dove I was kind of surprised where the answer came from actually there was there was um, there was a lot of different souls that came to answer that and I had to kind of align to the one that would have the most universal answer I guess is the best way to put it um, an answer that would be accepted uh, by those who watch us after the fact because the first soul that came no one would accept that that's who was doing the speaking so I, <laughs> I had to align to a different soul um, so thank you and by the way guys for those that uh, have relationship blockages for those that um, want to take the relationship to a new level or truly want to find their soulmate um, go to my website I have information there about a program I developed a few years ago it has a high level of success uh, and it's around clearing the blockages so you can find your soulmate uh, there may be a way I can serve you okay all right Yvonne Yvonne is here welcome Yvonne thank you Yvonne Yvonne has been so awesome I bow to you Yvonne thank you so much you you you, you repost my post you, you say thank you you come on you, you chat you talk you you're you're on a huge soul journey you're one of our divine channels in training you serve so much you attend so many groups you're just doing a phenomenal job so thank you so much Yvonne I appreciate your joining I appreciate your sharing okay Jyota welcome Jyota I hope I say your name right I apologize if I'm not Gifto Giftopolis Giftopolis hopefully I apologize again if I'm saying it wrong uh, thank you for joining thank you Master Paul how about twin flames I believe the purposes are different to soul mates uh, please may we have guidance thank you bottom of my heart okay that's a, another great question I have no idea uh, I have heard this terminology many times I've read other people's definitions I'm kind of curious what heaven will say so let's find out you're the soul of the word twin flame of the deeper spiritual meaning of twin flame of the deeper most relevant understanding of twin flame in relationship to meeting a 
a twin flame in this lifetime. The soul of the highest, best, most pertinent, relevant, and easy to understand information for all to hear. Please be present. Please borrow my mouth and enlighten us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? I am the soul of the understanding of what is a twin flame. A twin flame, as best described, is two souls that have had many, many lifetimes and have merged their souls into the equivalent of one. These souls have had such purification that as they have spiraled, spiraled around each other through life, they have cleared the blockages, cleared the blockages, cleared the blockages. The level of love that these two souls have attained creates such a oneness that it is one thinks the other answers. Regardless of where they're at in time and space, they are almost the equivalent of one. When these souls come into this planet, it is from the highest level of service that that decision is made. They are still two souls, but they are one. Everything is one, but they are two. Two is one, one is two. All things are one. All things divide into yin and yang. All things return. These souls created oneness as a archetype for all humanity to follow. This archetype is exceedingly rare on this earth at this time. But as the children continue to come in, it will show up differently. There will be many, many exceedingly high level beings that will be known moving forward. Their love will be equal to all souls. There will be no separation, no differentiation. There will be no personalities, so to speak. There will just be love. That is what our children bring. They are the new archetype of twin flames. They are the new representation for humanity to follow. This is the pertinent information that can be shared at this time for what is a twin flame. I am the soul of what is a twin flame and I am honored to share. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the soul. Wow, that was quite enlightening. Always nice to learn new things. Thank you for that great question. Okay, Vanessa, that was exactly what happened. My heart was not open to others. Aha, wonderful. Very good. And so, um, you know, you know to do more, more forgiveness around that. I would recommend, Vanessa, to, to, to check into my soulmate attraction system. There's a lot of valuable information that can be, um, that can assist you with, with that. Okay, Jyota, this is a, a wow, wow session. I feel we're in the heart of the divine. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a beautiful comment, Jyota. It is kind of a wow, wow session. You know, I, I truly have no clue what some of the answers are to some of these questions. I am, I am completely as clueless as anybody else that's asking them. And, uh, but it's so nice to be able to, to check in and um, with heaven. <clears throat> One of the things that, that is... Um, When I started studying under, under this wisdom from Master Shah years ago, I came to the realization that um, when he says everything has a soul, it does. That means every, uh, every thought has a soul. You've heard me call forth the souls of the highest and best answers. You know, why? Because everything has a soul. How do you think a car was created? It started as a thought first. Everything started as a thought first. So everything has a possibility 
Everything has a soul. The possibility could come to fruition. Therefore, that possibility has a soul. So when you're doing communication, um, soul communication, it's important to remember that. That it's, it's uh, those kinds of, of calling forth of those souls brings a much higher clarity of answer, a much, uh, much more um, um, pure and clear answer in many cases. One thing I have to avoid as I do this is pushing people's buttons, causing uh, friction when I'm trying to cause uh, conditions where love serves. And in order to accomplish that, I have to ask the soul world for the correct verbiage so that, um, so that I serve well, so that this information serves you well. So I deeply apologize to all of you and in all souls in all lifetimes for my poor communication for any times I have I have said anything that has caused harm emotional suffering mental suffering or suffering of any kind if I have caused the closing of your heart for incorrect information and the sharing of that information uh, I deeply deeply apologize and I ask for your forgiveness um, so I'm very grateful for all of you joining me here today this has been a very enlightening session it's always fun to do these because I never know who's gonna show up Facebook kind of sends out uh, uh, Paul is going live blip and it's really hard to say where where people see that so my encouragement to you is I'm gonna do a blessing before we finish here my encouragement to you is um, to share this uh, video if you've heard it uh, if you, at the end of it with others especially your girlfriends or, or, or those guy friends that you think can can use this wisdom and um, uh, the virtue you receive uh, is, is huge because um, they might get just one aha moment out of this that can help their relationship and that alone is great because that moves closer to love and as anybody moves closer to love we as a humanity uh, move closer to love and that's always good <coughs> thank you Kristen thank you dearest Master Paul my beloved soul and I never seem to have dry eyes during your soul readings smile emoticon <laughs> tears always flow freely great healing thank you Okay, so let's offer uh, an additional blessing. This is uh, from a blessing I recently received from uh, Master Shah. It's, uh, it's been transmitted to me. Um, it's, it's the highest healings that he's offered to anybody, highest healing blessings. And um, at this time, so I'm gonna ask those to turn on and offer you a blessing. This is to balance your emotions. Okay. <clears throat> Please sit up straight. Place your feet flat on the ground. Uh, as appropriate, bring your back away from the back of the chair so that you can receive the highest blessings at this time. Dear, these treasures that I am thinking of, Blessing begin. All those that have come in after the fact and watch us later, make sure you make a request. You're receiving blessings too. Yeah, 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 yeah
Treasures, without treasures, please return. You're all extremely blessed. I will do a reading as to the value of this blessing for all of you. This is the soul of the five elements, blessing that you have all just received. Each of you carried forth energies from one organ and element associated emotion to the next the fire of the heart the reaction the anxiety the depression impacts and creates worry the worry creates fear the fear creates intolerance and anger the anger creates solemnity and aloneness which loops around to depression and anxiety these emotions can loop often they create of course harm to your organs and systems this blessing was no small blessing each of you received the equivalent of two lifetimes of purification as if you had done the service on your own. One person life was saved. They could have experienced a heart condition. This was released because of the love that is offered through these extraordinary transmissions given to this master. This master's generous heart has served you well. Do your best to offer your gratitude to all those souls that have accepted this request for forgiveness and left you do forgiveness with yourself for holding on to imbalanced emotions especially against yourself and others move towards the heart of the divine with the greatest urgency as all souls lives are dependent upon that this is the soul of the five elements and the blessing that you have received. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that beautiful uh, soul that came to offer that sharing of information. I had no idea that those uh, treasures that Master Shah, I've been blessed to receive in the last couple of weeks, I had no idea that they offered that kind of a blessing. That was the first time I used them to offer a blessing. That's the first time I used them collectively like that to offer a blessing. Oh, extraordinary. Um, so we are all very blessed. <clears throat> so again, thank you all for coming. Thank you for your comments. Welcome, Shanice. I saw you come in. Thank you for joining us. Uh, again, upon completion, this recording will, will start and people can watch it again. Please share this whole program, as you know, is on uh, love. What, what were the blockages that keep us from having the kind of true love and soulmates that we need? Um, share it with others. Send them to my website if they have soulmate-related issues. And... Um, and thank you once again. I'm just so, my heart is so touched that you guys come. I mean, it just ah, makes me so happy. Thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you. 
We thank Divine, we thank Da, we thank Source, I thank Him, my spiritual Father, Master Shah. I thank the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures that were present here today, all those that unconditionally offered their blessings on your behalf. We thank the countless souls that have chosen to leave through all the karma cleansings of Master Shah, God's worldwide representatives, any of the blessings you received here today. It is my deepest honor to serve you all. So thank you all so much, and we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Be sure to spread the word. The more we get here, the more fun we're going to have. All right. Bye-bye. Love you all.